Central Michigan University is holding a contest for grant money to digitize some of the archives of a Michigan newspaper and make them searchable for free online. The Peter White Public Library's entry on behalf of the Mining Journal is one of five finalists. And it's a competitive grant with, with a voting online, and we nominated the Mining Journal from 1868 to 1888. In the late 19th century, the Mining Journal was one of few news sources in the northern Great Lakes. And it did have regional coverage of mining interests, uh, lumber industry, as well as was the stories of the people who came here to do these things, which is what makes it important to us. Newspapers didn't always look like this, and a brief glimpse at the Mining Journal from nearly 150 years ago is very telling about how much print media have changed. Some 1868 stories would be out of place now, like one about a sample basket of fruits and vegetables intended for exhibition at the Ontonagon County Fair, but some would still work today, like one on Great Lakes shipping and the iron industry. It was also interesting to read an ad for Peter White's insurance business while sitting in a library named after him. Digitization wouldn't solve a preservation problem of the historic material, but it would solve an access problem. First of all, the Mining Journal doesn't have copies available of, that, of the material. Uh, we do. It's mainly available now on microfilm. Another problem is it's not indexed, so people can actually do a keyword search and try to find a particular individual, an event, or, or whatever they need to look for. The NMU archives and the Peter White Public Library hope the contest leads to digitizing all of the Mining Journal's back issues. The project is an excellent start to an overall project that should be designed to digitally convert the entire run of the Mining Journal from its first publication in 1846 to the present. The UP story is not one that's always told, and from our perspective, that's what we want to, to have is our story told by us. Voting in the contest is open through April 15th. We have links to the online poll for you on our website, abc10up.com. In Marquette, Mike Hoey, ABC 10 and CW5 News Now.